Hello and welcome back viewers. In this video, we're going to show you some commands to use for creating and exporting files through CMD. And in this video, we're going to show you how you create, export and read files by using command line CUI. So let's move to the desktop. So here on the Win10 machine, first we're going to launch the CMD. So I'm going to type CMD on type here to search and run as the administrator and here you can see it is prompting to the administrator but what I recommend during this practice that you should change the prompt to the desktop because when we are creating files and doing other things so you will see the output in an instant on the background so for that let me type dir to see the content the other directories we have in this administrator folder so here we have desktop so type desktop and directly jump into the desktop now here whatever the file we're going to create will just get located here on the desktop and you can easily see on the background so the first command i'm going to show you right now is the let's say for example that if you open any service like the task list and you want to know that what sort of tasks are been running on the background of your machine but here you can see there is a plenty of entries and there's a bunch of detail and you want to export all these details in a separate text file so the command you're gonna type is task list is the same but you have to add some arguments so put this greater than sign then type the file name and the extension and press enter so it will create a file in an instant and you can see in the desktop background and there you go all the details and all the tasks are being created in a separate text file now in the same way if you want to type any message any details in the text file and want to export in your current directory so you're going to type echo e c h O echo and then you could type any of your message detail whatever you want to type is like GSS or might be like type the website name job skill share dot org and then put this greater than sign then add the file name GSS one dot text press enter so it's going to create another file that contain the exact text you type here and if i open this jss1 so you will see that exact text that you mentioned in the command line is totally exported to that specific file so this command really help you to send and type any of your detail when you're in the cli mode and you want to type any sort of message you want to make any reminder any memory any sort of file detail, IP addresses, whatever the stuff you want to export or you want to type in a separate text file. So you can use this command to export your text within a separate text file. Now there is another command that allows you to type multiple lines and you could go so much in detail while typing things like the command is copy con space and mention the file name JSS2. I'm changing one to two because JSS1 and JSS is already created. So this command, this command will allow you to type plenty of text. And once you stop typing by pressing the control Z, it won't stop you for typing the text. So here you can type anything like, please subscribe our channel right and after that if you want to stop this editing mode so you can type press ctrl z so it's gonna stop and then press enter once you type ctrl z it will show this z here on the screen then you need to type press enter you need to press enter and then it will take out from the editor and the file is created as you want you can see here on the back on the desktop you can see the text is there and the file name is the same so you have two commands to type your message your details your text 
but the copy con is allow you to type plenty of lines and multiple sort of words and whatever the bunch of details you want to export within the file name so you could type here and you can easily find out that file where you create this file now after creating those file if you want to check the content of the file definitely in the command line you can see the text but if the command line command prompt is related to your Microsoft OS so here you can execute commands from the CLI and it will execute on your Microsoft operating system but as for the text if you want to see the text here on the CLI of any file any text file so you could type 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 and the file name jss2.txt and must add the extension so you will see the content the text the con the, the thing that you put in that file in the text form you can see in the CLI in your command prompt so this command help you to open your text file in your command prompt in a CLI now most of the time we want to create a new text document and we want to create new JPEG file and we did this steps these things in so many so many times plenty of time to create a new text document by right clicking on the desktop and hover your mouse on new and select this new text document and it will create a totally new file for us and then we start typing and copying its stuff from the website and other sort of places so this will create a new file by just doing some GUI based steps but what if you want to create a new text document kind of file by using the CLI so the simple command you need to execute is you're going to type type null null means new text because you don't want anything written on that file it would be totally new text document based file so type null space and just type the name already because here you need to rename the file but here in the CLI you are typing the name prior the creation of the file so type null greater than space gss 4txt at the extension and you can see the gss 4 is created and it's totally clean a new text file in the same way you can create other extension based file like for example if you want to create HTML new file so you could name gss5.html you must be familiar with the extension while using this command and you can see here new file is created or you can type png and add 6 so it's going to create a png file so what you are just covering here is that by using this command you can create a new file in most of the time we in the desktop in the GUI environment we create new text document and then we start copying stuff and typing out the details quickly so by using the command line you can create these new files by typing these command with the, those argument and with the extension and in the last if you want to execute any text file if you want to run any text file or any other file on your OS by using the CLI because here on top I show you if you want to open any file in a CLI like I show this command type JSS 2txt so what this command did it just open the text it orient the text on your CLI but what if you want to open it in an in that specific application in a GUI way in a GUI so what you have to do is just type the file name and press enter so it's going to execute the file and open it in, in an application for example you have pain file so it's going to open that pain file in that for example we have gss5.html and if I press enter so it's going to open it on the Microsoft Edge or whatever the browser you're using in your machine so this command will open the file on that specific application from which this file is originated and if you type type space and the file name with the extension so you will see the text on the CLI so this is a little difference 
So I hope you learned this command and really enjoyed this video. And don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe our channel. And in the last, I'm going to show you all the commands that we cover during this video. So these are the commands if you want to type, if you want to note those commands. So you can simply write from there and practice accordingly. And if you have any issue, if you encounter with any error while executing those commands, mention that problem and mention that issue in the command section and we will definitely respond you quickly. Thanks for watching.